The teenager accused of killing four people and injuring nine others in this week's mass shooting at Appalachie High School in Georgia appeared in court Friday. 14-year-old Colt Gray is charged with four felony murder counts. He was not asked to formally enter a plea. The suspect's father, Colin Gray, has also been charged. He told police that he previously gifted his son the AR-style rifle used in the shooting. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation alleges that the 54-year-old, quote, knowingly allowed his son to possess a weapon, even though he had a history of making threats. The four victims are two 14-year-old students and two math teachers. Nine others were hospitalized with injuries. They are expected to make full recoveries. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News national correspondent Dave Malkoff, who's in Winder, Georgia. So, Dave, I want to start with a focus on the four people who lost their lives. What more yeah. are you learning about them? Well, Lana, that has been the focus all day here at the high school. Rain or shine, people coming out to pay tribute to these four who lost their lives, Mason Sharmahorn, Christian Angelo, and their two teachers, Miss Army and Coach Aspinwall. Now, they, their pictures are below this memorial that's right behind me. I'm not sure if you can see it off my shoulder, but that's the half-staff flag of the Georgia flag and the United States flag, and there is a growing set of balloons and uh, teddy bears and even pictures of the four people who died here. And a lot of people, we were trying to speak with them as they were coming in and out. And we spoke with a lot of people at the other memorial that was on the day of the shooting that night. Lots of people did want to share their thoughts and feelings. But today, I, I think it's starting to sink in, Lana, because nobody really feels like talking about this today, especially not with a reporter coming up and, and asking them questions. Because when you're in shock, at the very beginning of an event like this, you may be starting to process it, but now they've had a couple days to process this, and that shock is kind of wearing off, and now they're sinking into the reality, the deep, deep pain of this. A terrible reality that it is. Um, let's talk about the case, because the prosecutors are starting to put together their case against the Colts. How does the case against the father compare to the other time the Crumbleys uh, were held accountable for yeah. a mass shooting? And why is the father being charged with two counts of second-degree murder when four people were murdered? Well, the, the Crumbleys, they, they were uh, parents. They were the father and the mother that were charged in that case. And that's the legal precedent for this that was set before this in, a, in, in the United States, and we're starting to see this over and over again. So now the charges against the father, Colin Gray, who is 54 years old, are four counts of involuntary manslaughter, and then two counts of second-degree murder, and then eight counts of cruelty to children. Now, remember, there were children who were involved in this. There were two children who died, and then there were nine people who were shot in some way. And that doesn't even bring into account the people who were hurt, maybe running away from this, panic attacks. And then as this starts to sink in again, we're going to see, uh, like we see on, on natural disasters as well, we see PTSD, we see trauma after this, we see people who just can't go back to the school because it reminds them so much of that. We even talked to somebody who runs a, a local hospice service here and she was offering her services to the kids of this school and the parents and the teachers here because they know how to deal with the emotions that come up during a death situation. Even though this isn't a hospice situation, they kind of have that way of shepherding people through death and their feelings about that. So there is help here for the people who need it.